the events of the day of the Lord is about to start. And there is an awareness for all that is happening in the world. Many natural disasters to come. Wars, the presidential inauguration, of which many of us believe that it will not happen because Obama will do something before. I anticipate that he will come up with something major on the 17th of January. That because the Lord said, watch for the 17th. And we know he does not want to leave office. He wants to declare martial law. And the Lord said he will. You heard me talking about Obama being the Antichrist. That is confirmed many, many times. And the Lord told me personally. So we are really relaying on the information which is written about him, which is not about him. And so, because of that, we know that he has not finished yet. So this anticipation is grounded, and it's not just a hearsay, it's a very serious expectancy. I believe that the Arabs will do something major, but I also believe, based on my previous studies, that they have the ability to cause major devastation, which looks like a geological event, for instance, it could be an earthquake, because the tectonic plates on the west coast are dropping. We know that a very prompt an earthquake, so it doesn't take much but an explosion under the sea to cause a catastrophe like this. I think they have the technology to cause those tectonic plates to, to move, and that will generate also a tsunami. Now, for those who wouldn't know, the Lord gave us this prophecy that there will be a San Francisco tsunami before the rapture. So this is why I think that might be a false flag earthquake generated in that area, which may or may not be the earthquake that Revelation 6.12 is referencing. Now, that is a major earthquake in the Revelation 6.12 because it followed by darkness that the sun become dark and the moon become like blood, but it doesn't say that it was from the earthquake. Those are just the events leading up to the opening of the seventh seal. So those are very short verses, and so much is not disclosed. But an earthquake is the opening event of the opening of the sixth seal. So this might be the one, and we are going to find out very soon if it's the same, because if it's so, then it will not stop with this earthquake, but it will continue going on with other events. I'm going to release a video on the Day of the Lord where I talk more about this. There was a dream of a young man. I will put a link in the description box to his channel, who have seen this tsunami generating he was sitting about thousand feet above sea level in a building in a dream and have seen a vortex coming up from the sea. It was a swirling vortex which then created about an 800 to a thousand feet high tsunami. I wonder how a vortex like that could be generated by the ocean other than there is an explosion or a rapid movement of some kind generated on the bottom of the ocean. Actually, that was the case in Fukushima. I learned that that earthquake has also been the doing of the cabal. Furthermore, I also learned that the radioactivity increasing rapidly since the explosion and find out that they are adding radioactive material into the waters to cause more damage, like 70 times more. If you do not have, you know, the twisted thinking they have, and this seems like impossible, I'm just putting this data out to make the point that this is not at all impossible. I have seen another video from a young man who was standing on the beach with many other people. He was praying and repenting at the time he saw the tsunami come, and there were thousands of people, and after the water swept by, he was the only one standing. Everyone else perished. Be prepared for the worst, because we'll see what they will come up with. But I tell you, anything that will happen now is likely is a false flag event, even if it's a great shaking. The Lord uses the wicked too to accomplish his will. So it's very much possible. 
Now, Obama is going to this peace meeting on January the 15th, right? Which is actually tomorrow or just a couple of hours and is today. And somebody had a dream that the day after his meeting, Israel will be attacked. And then the day after that, judgment begins in the United States of America. If the UN will split Israel and give Jerusalem to Palestine, that brings immediate judgment on America. Now, what I really find very disturbing, not surprising, but very disturbing, that he passed also an executive order, which says that now the police or whatever, you know, I don't have the proper words, you can look into that and even probably on the government website, in which they put it into law that police now can break into homes and even prior to anything is committed or prior to the martial law, I don't know. So really it's seriously flowing all together. Like I said, I have reason to say that Obama will cause a false flag earthquake. I'm not the only one saying that. Also that I mentioned in the other video that the Lord gave this dream to one of his handmaids that day. Obama and the Muslims agreed to do something that would cause martial law. He planted many thousands of the terrorists in the United States to do his dirty work. I want to remind you of the news which was released, I believe, March of 2016, that the tectonic plates at the Pacific Ring, right around the Oregon area, dropped three feet in one hour. That means that these plates are continually in motion and an earthquake is long past you, maybe 50 years past you. So yes, this is a very great possibility. And also I made a video about NASA that I find they had a project when they bombarded Saturn with some nuclear bombs or whatever way. They tried to break it up so that they would generate a second sun in the solar system. Of course it didn't happen, but if they believe that they can create a whole new planet and destroy planets, then they can absolutely create an earthquake. There is no doubt about it. How else would it be exactly on the 17th? Now the Lord knows what will come, so he says watch for the 17th, and there is a reason for that. And there is a false flag event Obama is orchestrating, so he would not have to leave office. So I have to sound the last alarm and then let God be God because we don't know after the 17th what kind of communication devices we'll, we will have, where we will be, if, it, if we still be here on earth or made it into heaven or if we are in the FEMA camps. That means, like I revealed in other videos, the Lord showed me that they would come and pick me up. So I think that all this is beginning now. I really wonder how long it will take for the Antichrist system to come into full force, but certainly this is the beginning. Obama will declare martial law and FEMA camps will open, which suggests that it might take place before the 20th of January that would keep Antichrist Obama in office. He has ordered the UN to flood America and passed executive order to kill people. The Lord said to watch out for the 17th. This would enable Obama to start Christian persecution and beheadings, RFID chips, according to scripture and countless current day prophecies. So now, the only thing that matters is that we have God, that you are saved, that you receive Jesus Christ into your heart. He is the only Savior, He is the only one in control, and we must make sure that no matter where we are here or pass through this life into eternity, he will receive us, draw near Him, pray without ceasing, trust Him. And He says that without knowing Him and hearing His voice, we are not going to be able to survive. So what is coming, this is just the beginning. The whole earth will be totally destroyed by the end. So please, if you hear me, this is it. I mean, we have one day. Of course, we, we would need to have food and water and heating devices and first aid and whatever we can think of for emergency, but nothing is more important than salvation because many people will not have the opportunity to use the supply they have stored up. 
but instead they will have to face Jesus for judgment. And unless we repent, we are going to reap what we saw. And the Holy Spirit in me is just rising. This is so serious now. The time has come. Talking about it for years. And the time is here. Time is up. So be blessed. Uh, I beg you to receive Christ. I beg you to be saved. Do not hesitate. Do not try to understand. Just ask the Lord that if He is real, come into your heart. You don't have to believe. He will make you a believer. You cannot go and face this day without Jesus. That's just a message. Praise your name, Lord. Save everyone, Lord. Amen.